again, everyone. It's me, Madame Macabre, and I ain't doing so hot. Okay, but y'all, this, uh, this cold thing, I've, I've had enough of it. It's just started, and I've had enough. As, as you can hear from my, uh, wonderful falsetto voice, I, I, I'm losing my voice, probably from coughing too much. I, I got some thoughts, okay? This is gonna be, this is gonna be a rant video. But first of all, welcome back to my returning subscribers, and hello and welcome to everybody new here. I don't normally sound like a dying frog like this. This is special. I'm just kind of ticked off that I'm sick, and I want to talk about it. So I have worked extremely hard to not get infected and not get sick this year. I was doing everything in my power to be super vigilant because I've got too many things coming up that are important, and I can't be sick for them. I made one mistake, one little slip up, and that's all it took to get me in this condition. I went with my friend, Emma, to go see the new Tim Burton Dumbo movie. It has been a very long time since I have seen any movies in the theater, let alone a children's movie that's pretty, pretty recently released, pretty new. I forgot what a germ pit those movie theaters are. Okay, but seriously, we get there to the movie, we sit down in our seats, and I swear, we're probably some of the only, like, childless adults there. Everyone else, kids and parents all around us. And there is hacking and coughing directly on hands going on and then touching everything. And it's not just the kids who are being nasty, okay? The parents of half these kids are nastier than the kids. They're also coughing. No wonder the kids are nasty. The parents are nasty too. It was a pit of germ-infused gremlins, and I didn't stand a chance, especially because I had snacks at the movie theater. Like, I don't know, like in hindsight, I, I probably shouldn't have eaten anything because, you know, with all the coughing and like, Lord knows what kind of contaminants were on my chair before I even sat there, so I really shouldn't be surprised. But anyway, that's got me thinking about a topic that I want to rant about today, and that is people who are sick and highly contagious Keep your booty butts home, okay? I am sick and tired of seeing disgustingly sick people going to crowded public events and spreading their plague. Okay, life goes on. Sometimes you need to go to the grocery store. Sometimes you need to get this done. You gotta go to the bank. You gotta do this, gotta do that. It's, you, you can't help it. Cool. At least don't be nasty about it. Oh my God. Like, didn't you ever learn the Dracula sneeze? You know, you, you cough into the elbow. Like, I mean, I see some people who get halfway there, like they lift it and then they, they like cough and spray everywhere. Like they lift, what was the point of raising your arm if you're not going to cough into your elbow? That way your elbow catches the germs and you know, you're not coughing all over your hands and then touching everything with your germs. I'm sorry, I'm a little cranky, but you know, I think I get a cranky pass cause I'm sick. And when you're sick, you get grumpy, okay? You don't feel good. But I digress. I was talking about if you need to go out. You know what you can do if you gotta go out, if you really, really must? You ever seen one of these things? You see them all the time in Asia. Is that so hard? Seriously. I don't know why we don't use them here. It genuinely shields you from spewing your particles out to the stratosphere, but I digress. It looks funny and it's different, so I don't wanna look weird going out. I would rather look like a weirdo in a, a surgical mask on the street and not spread this horrible plague onto other people. But that's just me. But yeah, aside from like those mandatory things you have to get done, something that really ticks me off is seeing people who are sick and contagious at places they don't need to be risking contaminating other people simply for a selfish want to do said thing, even though they're sick and contagious. Like the movie theater, for instance. You don't need to go to the movies when you or your child is deathly ill and very contagious. That is a want. You could push it back another week and see it a week later. It's a new movie. It'll still be in the theaters. You don't need to go there and be a ticking time bomb biohazard. You're just doing it because you're selfish. 
you want to see the movie, your kids want to see the movie, and your want to see the movie is apparently more important than everybody else's right to stay healthy, okay? And it's not just movie theaters. You know another place where this is a horrific problem? Conventions. That's right. Conventions are always a hot bed for grossly, disgustingly sick and contagious people. That's why they call it con plague, okay? It's not just a magic illness that comes from nowhere. It comes from jerks who are super sick, super contagious, but, you know, they, they still want to go to the convention. They want to have their fun time. Everybody else, be darned. I don't care if you get sick from me. I want to go and I want to have my fun at the convention. So I'm going to be gross and unhygienic and spread it to thousands of people. Like, again, I am personally of the camp that if you are sick and contagious, you probably just shouldn't go at all. But a lot of people, you know, they've already bought airplane tickets, travel, all that stuff, so they really want to go. All right, well, if you must, be hygienic. Wear face masks. Constantly wash your hands. Sanitize. Do the Dracula cough. The amount of grown people at conventions who just cough, spreading their filth into the air, you wouldn't believe. Of course, these are also the same people that have the money to travel across the world for a convention, but they don't have the money for a bar of soap and a stick of deodorant. Some of y'all con folk are nasty, okay? You nasty. That may be a new, a new rant video, more cosplay and con specific. I may have to touch on that in the future. Convention hygiene. Yeah, you know it. All right, so I'm sort of winding down with where I wanted to go with the story, but there's one last thing I wanted to touch on. Uh, there is one sad truth in America where some people are literally required to be places while contagious. It's an oxymoron because what I'm talking about is when you are working, usually in customer service, sometimes in the food industry, where it is literally illegal to go in while sick and contagious. It's illegal but your employers, they don't care. They say, okay, well, you don't get the time off because we need you here, so you either come in or you're fired. That's the, the great oxymoron. It's, it's not legal, but just like with a lot of things that may not be legal, employers don't really care. As long as they can get away with it, they'll keep doing it. So like, I, I do feel for the folks who work like in those customer service fields where their job is sort of dangled over their head like, you know, yeah, you may be sick, but if you, if you don't come in, bye-bye. I mean, I, I know enough people who work these jobs. It's true. I know if you have not experienced yourself, it may seem crazy to believe, or if you're not from America, but it's true. Literally, I, my friend Shadow Kisses, from uh, her job, like, three or four, maybe five years ago, it's been a while, the job she had back then, she got fired because she was in the hospital. She was in the hospital. She called her job from the hospital to tell them she couldn't make it, and they fired her. Mind you, she could have actually taken it to court, but she was just physically, mentally exhausted and she didn't have the resources to open a lawsuit, so... Long story short, there are places where you don't really have a choice. So, you know, I, I, I am more understanding with that because, you know, it's you gotta pay your bills. But you people who come to places like amusement parks, movie theaters, conventions, that's an optional choice. You are choosing to be there. You are valuing your fun over everyone else's literal health because you want to be a plague spreader and a biohazard moving about the public space. Y'all make me want to just not leave my house unless I'm wearing full plague doctor regalia, okay? Seriously though, I, I just needed to rant about that. I'm, I'm still salty over getting sick because I was doing so good. I mean, fortunately, I should be better in time for soccer con. I've been sick for a couple, like four days now, and soccer con isn't until, not this weekend, but the next weekend. So I'll have plenty of time to recover. I'm just pissed off that I'm in this condition at all because some of y'all couldn't keep your sick booties home, okay? I can feel my voice starting to give out on me. It's mad that I'm talking this much, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this to a close now. But anyway, once again, hope you enjoyed this. If you got your own thoughts and commentary, please feel free to share in the comments down below. But that that's all I got for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a nap. Anyway, until next time, remember, stay creepy. Bye-bye.